I got several requests asking how to bake a proper apple strudel and I thought of doing that recipe today. For that recipe I'm using 375 grams all-purpose flour and 185 milliliters lukewarm water and half a teaspoon salt, quarter cup olive oil, one teaspoon of um, vinegar, you can use any kind of a vinegar and for the filling I am using four uh, apples you can use any kind of an apple that you like to use in and cinnamon 100 grams sultana and about 50 grams sugar here I have about 50 grams potato uh, starch you can use corn flour either um, bread crumbs so let's start before doing the dough I really would like to finish the filling ingredients for that. I already sliced the apples and into that I added half of a lemon to um, stop browning the apples. For that I am going to add sugar, sultanas and then about a teaspoon, sorry, about a teaspoon cinnamon and then next potato flour or corn flour or bread crumbs and mix it really well and leave it aside and into a mixing bowl add the flour and into that add a little bit of water with the oil you can add a teaspoon of sugar too into this uh, and vinegar and start mixing it about two three minutes and then again need that about five minutes the dough is ready so it has to be like when you touch it won't come onto your fingers it's really nice um, pliable dough but I'm going to leave this in a bowl covered with a damp cloth about 10 to 15 minutes on the bench top then it's really easy to work so the dough is ready for the apple strudel now put it onto a floured bench and put some flour onto the top of the dough now roll the dough to a square or a rectangular shape so I roll the pastry and it has to be like this it is a really pliable dough that you can fold it into any direction so after take the apples and the sultana mix that you have and put that onto the pastry and put it, it put it nice and even If you like, you can uh, sprinkle some bread crumbs on top. If not, just slowly roll it to a log shape. And when you are doing it, make sure that you fold the ends so it won't come out. The liquid will remain in the dough. And slowly. And this is a really nice pastry that you can try at home. Now take the last ends and tuck it in like this. So cover the ends nicely. Put it onto a baking tray, melt some butter and just um, brush the top with butter and bake this on 180 Celsius about 20 to 30 minutes or until golden brown on top the apple strudel is ready and i bake this about one hour actually so if i cut to show you how it looks like it's a really nice crispy on top and it's nicely cooked with the layers and hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching